Five Go Sailing, we are back. Welcome to Five Go Sailing. We're now becoming a dedicated trumpet servicing <laughs> channel. In the service channel, we will teach you how to use Brasso to completely destroy the interior of a trumpet. That is not what we're doing. Uh, we're at my mum's house at the moment. She's just there on the iPad. Um, and I am just editing our first of our catch-up videos. We didn't make any videos over the winter because being on a boat in the winter is miserable. We filmed quite a bit. We did, so that's why we've got some catch-up footage to show you what we've been up to uh, before we set sail again on Monday. That'll do. Will it? That'll do. Why? Yeah. Do you not want that? Well, it's just got to be sitting there playing my trumpet. What's your jobs, girls? I have to uh, stay home because uh, so when it works, when it comes out, I can shout, Dad. It all looks watertight for me. There's no drift anywhere. Ah, there's a leak over there. Right. Oh! My ears getting warm! My ears getting warm, really Get Darcy. Warm right. Here we go. It's bleeding. <laughs> it's getting warm. I don't feel this. Darcy, this there is the perfect time to show you. It's, good, it's, good. it's so warm! Feel that radiator! Give me warmth, radiator! <laughs> <laughs> the next job was insulating the front half of the boat. So this forward bathroom is a great example. Here, uh, we haven't put insulation in the ceiling and there's just bits of moisture everywhere. The moisture is occurring on the deck, not on the stringers, because the stringers have got foam inside them. So that bit of insulation is definitely helping. But on the deck itself, there's just whatever it is, 13, 12, 13 mil of fiberglass between that and outside. And you can tell there's just these moisture beads. I want to get this whole forward half of the boat completely insulated, sealed, and then that's going to be wicked. And then eventually Kelly and I are going to move into here. Then we can do the back, right? Insulation, warmth, comfort levels on board the Esperance are good, which is a good thing. Genuinely, uh, in the forward half of this boat, it's the best boat I've ever lived on. This is great. It feels like a house in here, which is really cool. Um, so this insulation is an absolute winner. I have busted out all the stuff in here now. And as you can see, I've emptied everything into this room. It is full of stuff. Uh, yes, that is for bells, for different various trumpets and trombones that we have to take with us around the world. But the last thing we're gonna do now in this forward half of the boat is just fill in any little gaps you see here. Stuffing some foam up into these little holes. So these are the places that are causing issues in one way or another. So, I'm just gonna spend half an hour now, I've completely cleared the room, it's completely empty, I just need to get my sheet and cover the mattress. Got my big box of uh, spray foam, and uh, in case you didn't know, little hint, this is not cleaning fluid, it's just water. Foam sticks better if you spray the surface first, bit of water on, moisture on the surface. The foam grips loads better to it. Everything is completely covered up, and I'm hoping to get everything sealed up, final little squidges, Cut back today. Almost forgot my gloves. You can do this stuff without gloves, but you don't want to. But wait. Double gloving. Double gloving. Double gloving. Putting on more than one pair of gloves so that when I get a bit messy, I just take the top gloves off. And I'm still wearing gloves. This is the stuff I'd often use. For this uh, go, I thought I'd splash out and try the fancy stuff. A couple quid more, supposed to be stickier. Good for sticking panels to the ceiling. <laughs> Turns out, not worth the extra money. I'm gonna stick with the basic stuff with a bit of spray. Stalactite tighty mighty and uh, it's pretty messy, which is good. And I am glad I put down the mat. I reckon about two cans worth. So six, 12 quid's worth of foam, 100% worth doing. It mean, if it means there's no drips anywhere ever, which is what we're aiming for. Yes, this half of the boat here is properly insulated. And with foam, board, and spray foam, and it just feels like a house. Now the radiator's in, it's, it doesn't feel at all damp, at all cold. Whereas the other half of the boat, condensation everywhere, damp. So we need to get that half of the boat the same as this half, but this half, it's pretty amazing. It is, it's just like being in a house. Um, don't notice the effects of winter at all, it's great. It's an hour until bedtime. Uh, Kelly's had to take the kids out for dinner because this place is a mess. I'm supposed to be teaching a bit as well. 
I've got an hour to go. I've got to get this place back to the kids being able to sleep in it. <laughs> can I do it? Tell you what though, you can tell the insulation's kicking in. This place is so nice and cosy, it's great. And just like that, it was Christmas. We're putting some lights up on the mast. Eric's being tested right now. It's several months since he last was put under this pressure. He's trying to remember how to tie a bowling. I've done a bowling on here. Ah. That bowling's got attached to this bowling. So this goes over, this gun goes under, this goes round here, this goes back under, and this goes back over. Oh! Yay! Did it! Pull! Okay, there you go. Let's see how it works out. Wait a sec, let me get the tangles out. This is my walking along song. Good girl. So we went outside to get some exercise, some fresh air, some daylight. We lasted all of about half an hour, but we have got the lights sort of up. Um, in about two hours time it's going to be dark isn't it? So we could uh, put them on and see if they look any good. Ta -da! And then the moment we'd all been waiting for. The solar panels were finally connected. Good morning, it's exciting. Uh, after months of waiting I have my MPPTs and I've got some wires coming through all the way down the boat. I think finally we might get, like, basically there's a lot of things that have to be ticked off in terms of getting the wiring through, clear, insulation, all that sort of stuff. But we might be close to getting the, so I, like I just said, told Kelly, a couple of hours, I'll get it all wired up and the solar panels will be on, which means hopefully by March, which you guys are probably March if you're watching this, so that's fine, so it happened. This is very exciting. I'm about to connect the solar panels, and as you can see, it's dark. It's taken me all day. I've got all the wiring done, and the reason it's dark is I have to turn off all the electricity. So I'm just going to turn that back on now, turn the batteries back on, turn on everything, and then hopefully my MPPTs will snap into life, and then I can flick the switch and connect solar, and then we'll get a wonderful reading of our current input at uh, half five on a February evening. Excited? Super exciting. It's exciting. So I've just been doing all my stuff. Look at all that. It actually looks like I know what I'm doing. Look at those nice tidy joints. Except except the fuse is wrong. And I've got those bits and those bits. So it's all it's all coming together. Right. But over a kilowatt of power from the solar. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's wow. never got that high. Show, Whoa. Them, show them. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. Have Look at that. Twelve hundred watts. Winter, That's crazy. That's just That's come out of nowhere. The sun's just come out from behind the clouds. No, 1300. No, 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 no. It might go up to 13. Oh. Might do, might do. Yay! 1303 watts. Oh my word. And my favourite moment so far, we got to take the bubble wrap off that had been keeping us warm all winter, and we finally got our beautiful view back. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Like, seriously, that is. Oh my god. And the kids got to take theirs off too and were able to go back out of their hatches again. And after weeks of waking up with condensation dripping on our faces, we finally managed to insulate the back cabin. Kelly and I did a leak test uh, earlier in the week. It involved me spraying a hose everywhere upstairs and her looking out for leaks. There were no leaks. I've been thinking for ages there were. I was convinced everywhere there were leaks. But it turns out it's just how bad the condensation is in here. So let you see. Let's do that then. Literally. Absolutely drenched from condensation. Where is the section of the roof? I've not insulated. The wall. 
is all dry. So I've got to keep going and do the other half. Tilly is desperate to get her bedroom back because Hugh and I are currently residing in there, so she'll do anything. So she's now on getting mum and dad's bedroom sorted mission. Matilda the Builder! <laughs> what are you up to, Tills? Um, so just that I've done, I built that and I've done this with Daddy. And at the moment I'm just filling in this gap and then I'm going to spray, spray foam it with Daddy. Excellent. Draw a circle about a centimetre away from the edge. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, you hold it there a second. What we're going to do is use this piece of wood here. Okay? Yeah. So can you hold that bit of wood now? Put your thumb in the middle of that. Pressure on it. Good girl. Okay. Then we'll put a screwdriver. Now I'll hold that in place whilst the foam goes off, right? And slowly but surely, it began to take shape. We used the old panels as a template to make new walls. PVA glue and water, mix them together. The ratio doesn't matter too much, but about half an hour, maybe a bit more water. Turn it into a paste and you brush it onto some timber, as Tilly's doing here, and the water evaporates off and it seals the wood. I've done it always. Uh, and this is just for the back of all the timber going in. So the back sides of the timbers, which are all generally glued in anyway. So there should be no ingress, but if there is ingress, it helps seal them up, doesn't it, Tills? And you can paint this because it's just PVA glue and she can just wear her normal clothes. She really wants to help paint the room later tonight, which is what I'm going to do after they're all asleep. And when he paints it, a couple of days later, it will be done. So mum and dad can move in and I'll get my room back. I said it's always the best coat, the first coat, because you get the biggest change. It's the most exciting coat. Finally, we had a dry, insulated, cosy, warm room again. A few finishing touches, like the old drawers having a makeover. And some shelving and we moved back in. 